So what are you guys? We're part of the Swartwood family. So are you guys real Swartwood MCAT students? Hell yeah! Yes. Yeah, they, they put on Facebook what you want me to be. So um, almost always sexy bunny. Almost always it's some sort of girl, right? But I remember the day, the time I had like the bear suit and inside the bear suit I was like the slutty girl. That, w that, was, that really freaked one guy out. He actually ended up, Greg, he actually ended up coming back and everything was fine. But the first thing he freaked out, he was like, I was like, dude, you knew it was Halloween. He's like, that's not what freaked me out. He's like, I get that it was Halloween, but you're just like, what's up with that? So, but, um, but anyway, yeah, so is there anything you want me to be? I think they put on Facebook like either Princess Leia, Snow White, um, a panda, Pikachu, um, sexy bunny. What's a sexy bunny? Bunny ears? <laughs> well, Playboy bunny honey badger. Okay. Huh? Sailor Moon? You want to say Sailor Moon? People want Sailor Moon? Okay. Sailor Moon with like Sailor Moon hair or Sailor Moon with like natural hair that looks like Sailor Moon? Like, in other words, do you, want it, do you want me to get a wig or do you want me to wear the hair up? Like, that's much harder. Okay. Does anybody know how to do that? I don't know if you could do that. You guys can do it? Okay. Because I don't know if my wife can. Put up. Okay. But still, he's like, actually, I'm the one that could do it. He's a maestro. Only no. huh? you or everyone can dress up. Oh, everybody's welcome to dress up. That would be great. On Tuesday. Everybody's welcome to dress up on Tuesday. I will try to be some sort of slutty girl, I guess Sailor Moon, with hair. No, no. We could do that. <coughs> In different areas. But there's, you primarily see him. Do you guys remember where? You can see him here. You can see him in other places too. But in this region, you can see him really do his job. Do you remember what this guy is? Aldosterone. Aldosterone. Do you remember what the job of aldosterone is? Does it increase re water reabsorption or decrease it? Increases. It increases it. Both these guys basically do the same job. So if aldosterone goes up, H2O reabsorption goes up. They do almost the same job. The mechanism's a little different, but they kind of have the same effect. This guy literally digs holes so you can reabsorb more water. Do you remember how this guy works? So. Let me take him away. This guy works by increasing Na plus reabsorption here. But if you reabsorb more Na plus, oops, sorry, assuming you're permeable, if more solute leaves, who's going to follow the solute? Water. That's what's going on. So I should kind of draw it like Na plus, and then water follows. Yeah, well, we don't have to do details, but basically it increases the so sodium reabsorption. Okay. So if you can increase the reabsorption of sodium, then what happens? If you take a bunch of solute out, the water is going to follow. That's it. Okay. Oh, so I lied. I think two rounds is enough. I, I used to teach. Mm -hmm. It works in other places too, but I want to focus on the distal convoluted tubule. Like, you know, with students coming from, so in that cycle, those particular cycles, students had questions about what they learned somewhere else, and it was just totally wrong. That's why I made a point. But we can, we can do that now briefly. The, the rule of thumb is most important rule on actually taking the exam. You use just your basic knowledge, not any hardcore facts, right? Just basic knowledge, and then whatever the, ex and the major thing is read the question. So for example, if the question said, I injected somebody with ADH, what is the immediate effect on urine output? You say what from your basic knowledge? More, yeah, you reabsorb more, so there's less P. You're done. That's it. Then some, some places actually tell you that's what you memorize. That would be stupid, because the MCAT does both. Because the MCAT also says, 